Hey guys, welcome back to True House Boss. Please like and subscribe to this channel so I can bring you more work from home opportunities. In today's video, we're taking a look at a benefits claim specialist role as well as a email marketing role. Now, both of these companies are hiring worldwide, but in today's video, we're strictly looking at two jobs that are posted for the United States of America. The first remote opportunity we're looking at is with a company called CVS Health. And if you guys are unaware of CVS Health, is just essentially a pharmacy where you can get most of your daily essentials as well as any type of your pharmaceutical needs. So let's just look more into the insight on their global opportunity. So it's just stating that Aetna International provides tools, programs, and services designed to give our members access to the highest quality healthcare anywhere in the world. We offer flexible plans for expatriates and global employers as one of the industry's largest US-based international benefits providers, serving more than 400,000 members worldwide. And Aetna International offers products and programs for a variety of organizations throughout the United States, Europe, Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. Now guys, the best way to really utilize this channel is to make sure you turn your notifications on because some of these jobs go so fast. And again, oftentimes I'm posting them on several other social media platforms, as well as the job posting them itself on its website. And then any alternative YouTubers or other remote channels may post this job as well. So sometimes the job postings will get gone really fast. On top of that, their sites sometimes get overloaded with tons of applications. So you guys just wanna make sure that you are utilizing the notification center in order to maximize getting an opportunity. So you would just hit search jobs, type in your you know desired location or desired field. Oftentimes, whenever I go to any site to filter out the algorithm, I always just put in remote. So what we're going to do right now is just look at a few opportunities um, on CVS Health's website and get an idea of a job that maybe we're interested in. Again, we're gonna look at a benefits claim specialist role, but I just wanna give you guys an idea of what it looks like when you go to search for these particular jobs. As of today, there's about 373 listing remote opportunities, at least within the United States of America. Again, sometimes these jobs go really fast. Some of them offer $1,000 bonuses, sign-on bonuses, all kinds of opportunities, guys. So you just wanna make sure you do go to the website and filter out exactly what you're looking for. But let's get into the benefits claim specialist role. So in this job, you're strictly going to be doing mainly data entry. Um, it doesn't state anything about using phones, but again, sometimes with these positions, you may have to speak internally with some of the, your other coworkers or things of that nature. But let's look into the job description for this role. So it's just stating that you will be, you know, part of the behavioral health team. So it looks like the behavioral health team consists of clinicians and benefit specialists who work closely to triage and process post-service reviews as required for procedures listed on the NPL. The retro review team receives review requests from claims processors, emails, and then other systems that they utilize. It's just also stating that their team reviews requests from all books, all businesses in Aetna, which require an attention to detail and knowledge of policies, procedures, and state mandates. So as a senior claim benefit specialist at CVS Health, you will have to research BH claims that are routed through various claim systems. And it does list all the systems there that you'll have to utilize. It also states that you'll have, you'll have to verify benefits and eligibility, outreach plan sponsors, liaisons if needed, and adhere to retro review policies. You're gonna have to build cases and clinical platforms and log in the BH retro. So again, tons of data entry right there. It's not giving too much intel about having to utilize a phone so far. So you're gonna be processing a lot of claims. Um, it's stating that you'll have to utilize, utilize um, BH Retro QuickBase. As you can see where it says build cases and clinical platforms and log in BH Retro QuickBase. You'll have to request clinical information from providers. You'll have to track and task clinical information to the BH Retro clinical team. You're also gonna have to document the outcome of the review of the clinical platform. And you'll have to notify member provider and claims of review outcome. So that notification could indicate that you're sending an email. It doesn't state that you'll have to call them. Sometimes that may be the case, but again, this you know role is stating that it's a ton of data entry. So not a lot of phone calls there for this role, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit further so we can get into what you guys actually mostly come to the channel for, which is the actual pay rate for this particular role. Now, a good thing about this company, they are not um, requiring that you have a degree, 
but let's look at the pay rate. So it looks like there's a minimum of $18.50 to a max of $34.60. Again, I always say shoot for the stars. Never take the minimum unless you, you're an entry level person um, and you don't have that much experience. But I would say try to hit that mid mark to max mark. And sometimes if you have a really great experience, you can get over what they're asking for. But again, this depends on your location, um, your experience, things of that nature is what indicates how much you'll get paid for this particular role. So CVS Health usually will provide all of your work from home essentials. This particular job listing didn't state if, you know, the company does like a work from home stipend or if you get money to pay for any essentials for your work from home office, but they will provide you with the equipment. So you wouldn't have to worry about utilizing any of your personal computers or laptops. So in a second, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down and look at the required qualifications for this role. Now, I know that I did state that a degree is not required. Um, so you would need an associate's degree for this position if, unless you have required um, experience. So technically, yes, a degree is required, an associate's degree is required, but if you do have relative experience for this position, you, you know, you would be able to utilize your experience versus actually having the degree for the position. So do consider that. Um, we wanna make sure that we're um, you know, being as transparent as possible when stating that a degree is not required. And oftentimes what I mean by that is most of the time it will say only a high school or GED is needed for the position, or it will say something to the effect of, you know, the job listing is asking that you have such and such degree or relative experience. So that or is always a key indicator that you do not necessarily have to have um, you know, a degree for the position. So we'll go ahead and scroll down so we can go ahead and see that information. As you can see, associate's degree or equivalent work experience. So guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the second position. This next remote opportunity is with a company called Twilo and Twilo is a customer engagement platform. So if you guys head over to glassdoor.com, you will see that Twilo has about 4.1 or so stars for the company. Um, for the most part, they were pretty good. There were some, uh, you know, negative reviews there, but I say look at your on your own terms. As you can see, this is a global um, company that hires positions all over the world, but we're looking at strictly positions today that are hiring out of the United States of America. So this role that we're looking at today is a email marketing position. Um, it doesn't require a degree, but it definitely has quite the years of experience that, that are needed for the role, but we'll take a look at it and see if it's something that'll be a great opportunity for some of you guys. So the opportunity that's offered is a email marketing manager. It is remote based out of the United States of America. This just gives you a little bit of insight of who the company is and they're kind of giving you insight that, you know, they are, have headquarters in San Francisco, but they're throughout South America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. And it does look like they're a growing company, so they may be coming to a city or town near you. And it's just giving you some insight that they're anti-racist and so forth. I think, you know, about inclusion, that's always good um, to know that there's opportunity for all of us, no matter where we live. Um, so they're just giving you kind of a disclaimer on that information. So they are looking for an email marketing manager to own day-to-day -day execution and operations of their email marketing program. So it looks like in the role, you're gonna focus on driving top demand through content and event promotion. And they're also looking for someone who works closely with multiple cross-functional stakeholders through marketing. Um, so this is a manager role. I will say that it does have some requirements where you know, you'll have to be on top of your game. I don't think it's something that's made for anyone who just wants to sit around on a computer. So keep that in mind. So these are some of the responsibilities that you'll need for the role. Um, you'll have to do, you know, A-B test email templates. Um, you'll have to own weekly, monthly, and quarterly reporting on standard email metrics, as well as impact on funnel performance. I'm not gonna go too much in detail about the requirements for this role. If you're someone who has no idea what email marketing is, uh, this is probably not going to be the job for you, um, but you know you'll you'll work with things like Salesforce um, campaigns, things of that nature. Um, so I, I would definitely say to keep in mind that it, it is a manager role, so you'll you'll have quite the responsibilities. And then let's get into the qualifications. So it's just stating that not not all applicants will have skills that match a job description exactly, 
And so what they're basically stating is that they're encouraging you to apply for this position or this role, even if you're someone who do not meet their desired qualifications, um, which is nice because sometimes a company is very firm on who they're looking for. And they're stating, you know, we need you to have a bachelor's degree with seven years of experience. And they mean that. So let's say you were to try and apply for the, the role, they're going to deny you because they're looking for a specifics um, from an employee that they're planning to take on. So I do like the fact that they are encouraging you to apply for the role, regardless if you have some of the desired qualifications. Now, if you have no idea what email marketing is and you have no idea how to do promoting and um, campaign planning and things like that, you definitely wouldn't want to apply for this role because more than likely they're looking for definitely someone with a little bit more experience. And then as you can see, that just gives you some more detail about um, some of the requirements of what they're looking for. Again, kind of some of the repetitive information, just being able to edit HTML, CSS, email templates. A lot of times when you do email marketing, a lot of um, email marketers or, or people or who are in this role will use things like um, some of the platforms that utilize uh, this kind of email marketing. A perfect example of a platform will be something like MailChimp. So let's say for instance, you go to a store and you buy a pair of shoes and they have you sign up for their email listing list. And then, you know, every month or every few weeks you'll get, hey, you know, come shop with us today because we have a promotion on such and such. So that's kind of some insight into what email marketing is. It definitely can get a little bit deeper than that, but just to give you guys an overview, that is essentially what they're stating and some of the requirements that they're seeking you to have. Something to keep in mind is that the application process for this job listing is fairly easy. It's not um, any, any kind of evaluation test. You just simply would upload your CV, provide your first, last name, email, and you do have the voluntary questions that are listed there as well, but you'll see it once you get to the website and check it out for yourself. So the salary for this role is paying pretty high again. It's, it's indicated upon where you live. So your location is a, is a big indicator of the salary that you're making. You'll be making for this role as well as your years of experience. As you can see, here are some of the salary indicators that are listed on the screen. And guys, in today's video, I am not going to utilize the keyword method. I know usually I will provide it in the videos that I upload, but in today's video, we're not going to because I am going to put a few bonus opportunities um, in the description of this video. So make sure you guys check it out for those of you who are interested in new ways to work from home. I do hope this helps some of you guys. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.